Again, when you okay. say free, like 28 and you're done? Unless you can you, survive 28 if you, you have a big tree. E or a rat. So. No, but if it's small, 28 will. Okay, the way it is on the way it is on temperature is um, 32. You normally are okay if it's for a couple hours. 30 will cause leaf damage and a little bit if it's like more than like 34 four hours will cause leaf damage burning right you'll get burn on the leaves and all that but it's not very bad 28 you'll get twig damage and normally about like that big for 28 will die back okay 26 thumb size stuff going back pretty far 24 arm leg thick stuff below 24 you're pretty much trunk to the ground <laughs> yeah pretty much to the ground now all of that depends on how long was there wind did you do anything did you put water on did you do this did you do that a lot of different things happen right so all those things you got to worry about but um yeah we do uh, uh again this last winter um orlando didn't really get hurt um and um but you know orlando is is not it, it again orlando is not a great term i mean uh, again if you go to winter garden winter garden right on the south side of of uh, Lake Apopka, that's warm. They've had mangoes there for my whole life, right? Now, again, I'm an old guy now, so when I go back to think about when I I was I lived in that house there when I was a kid, I was that's my the house I grew up in is a house right behind. And I was actually born in that house physically, born in that house uh, during a hurricane. So, uh, but yeah, no, it's. Uh, Cold hardiness is a funny thing. You know, they, I've been, my life was taken around the world to be shown mango varieties. And I cannot tell you how many times people have shown me cold hardy mangoes that have survived freezes, but they happen to be growing above a, a sewer pipe or something, you know, that kept the ground warm or whatever it is. You know, there's always little things that happen um, I do not know of any cold hardy mango. Now people are going to say your, your counter to that would be Bailey's Marvel and all that. Well, I'll tell you, show me one after a big freeze, and I've never seen it. I'm a firm believer in I don't believe what anyone tells me until I see it. All right, and I've never seen it. So um, there's a guy in California who makes some of you may have heard of uh, California. You know, Camarillo Exotics, uh, Tim, not Tim Thompson, but anyway, he bred cold hardy mangoes that they sold all over California. And everybody was all very into these things, but it was all just uh, salesmanship. All smoke and mirrors. Well, I don't want to say that. I don't know. I, I don't know. Although I know that people that wanted to take them out and get rid of them. <laughs> so, um, because of that, meat. yeah, it was not a good thing. Lying about cold hardiness is a pretty dangerous thing to do. 1977, we had the freeze here. We were 20, we were 24 degrees here in Homestead in this yard for over 12 hours. And that killed everything. Yeah. I mean, that was nasty. Devastating. That, that was snowed. devastating. Isn't that when it snowed? 77? Yeah, I think 77 so. it yeah. snowed, yeah. yeah. It also snowed in 89, I think, too. But they, I missed yeah. that. 77 was, uh, I, yeah, I was, I was on late shift, and it was still, which meant you caught the bus at the edge of the neighborhood <laughs> at, at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> and uh the ice was still on everything yeah. it was still frozen and then as it thawed out you could smell 
you could smell it, right? Mm -hmm. That's a, real freezes. You smell the lacerated tissue. It smells like you put a, something in the freezer and take it out. And uh, but like the the difference is, see, mangoes are truly a freezing thing, not a chilling thing, right? Jackfruit, um, other fruit like that, they get chilled. Mangoes have to get frozen because mangoes are truly not a tropical tree. It's another thing we, a misnomer we have. They're not tropical, they're subtropical. Like they're subtropical. Mangifera indica. These are tropical. These are, these are uh, all wangos, right? So these are crosses between tropical species and mangoes. So these aren't mangoes here. And, and who knows what their cold, well, we actually do know that the wangos actually picked up the mango genes for cold hardiness, so which is good. Hybrids. These are the hybrids. And these are actually um, our cold hard, but we don't know how cold hardy compared to regular mangoes. It would be case for so case. Mature. Yeah, they, you know, they, we know they do fine here, but this is, we haven't had a, a killing freeze here in a while. Again, we used to get a lot more cold. That's why my orchard, we grew coppice. We, we do old Jamaican style where we had kept, kept a, a canopy above them so they wouldn't freeze. You want to take, for cold protection, the worst thing is the, for mango is when you have a tree out in the middle of the field. A hell of a lot colder than if you have a tree where it's it has something above it that breaks it up and can hold heat. That's the big difference. You get radiational chip co uh, cooling, and radiational cooling is the worst thing in the world for if you want to keep your tree alive. What are good trees to provide that kind of cover? Um, Lysoloma. Uh, we use, uh, I used to use pigeon plums. Um, I also like to draw in white crown pigeons from, that, that still stay in the keys and come feed here and go back the, so that's another reason I use those. Gumbo limbos were good for this. Um, and then I, you can remove them also once they, once you get, once your trees get bigger and you don't need the protection anymore, then you can remove them. But I just use anything that would give you a good high canopy that didn't cut so much light out. You think poinsettias would work? No, poinsettias rough. That's Not enough a, leaves. That's a dark, dark shade actually. Under poinsettia, all you have to do is look at it and go underneath them. Or do you see? Do you see grass underneath them or not? That's the big way to tell, right? And you know, on my poinsettia there in the front shades everything out. So it's a, it's a real problem.